In this video, I'm gonna show you how to work out if a Wi-Fi adapter supports monitor and injection mode. In a previous video, which I've linked here and below, I discussed some of these Wi-Fi adapters. I discussed some of the chipsets in the Wi-Fi adapters. I discussed the Wi-Fi adapters that I personally would recommend and use. In this video, however, I'm gonna show you the difference between this Wi-Fi adapter and this Wi-Fi adapter, and let's determine whether they both support monitor and injection mode. I'll also show you the chipset used in these Wi-Fi adapters. So I'm gonna demonstrate the commands that you would use to see the chipset in a Wi-Fi adapter such as this or this, and then whether they support monitor mode and injection mode, which is required if you wanna hack Wi-Fi networks. Now, before we get started, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications, that really does help me. Let's hack the YouTube algorithm ethically of course, please don't use any of the information that I'm sharing here for non-ethical reasons. Okay, so let's start with the alpha adapter. I'll plug this in and I'm gonna connect it to my Mac. I'm running Kali Linux or Kali Linux if you prefer within a virtual machine on my Mac. So as soon as I plug that in, I'm asked whether I wanna connect that to Kali or to the Mac, I'm gonna connect that to Kali. So in Kali Linux, I'm gonna open up a terminal. IWconfig shows me WLAN zero. So the Kali Linux virtual machine has picked up this Wi-Fi adapter, you can see the light is on, so this is now working. However, the mode is managed mode at the moment. First thing I'm gonna do is LS USB. That allows me to see how this Wi-Fi adapter is connected. We can see as an example that an Atherios or Atheros chipset is being used by this Wi-Fi adapter. You can see the chipset information right there. You can see what Wi-Fi networks it supports. But what I'm gonna do is show you another command that gives you more information about the Wi-Fi adapter. We are gonna look at a specific device the USB that we're gonna look at in this example is two, three. So I'm gonna change that to zero, zero, three. Press enter and that allows me to look at the details of this Wi-Fi adapter. So scrolling up, we can see the device ID, we can see the vendor. So this is an alpha network adapter, but what's important is the chipset within this adapter. And we can see once again that it's an Atheros or a Theros AR9271 adapter, it supports 802.11n. We can see information such as the manufacturer, product ID, and serial number of the adapter. Okay, so that's interesting, but let's see if it supports monitor and injection mode. So first thing I'm gonna do is use AirmonNG to kill any conflicting processes. So this process was killed. What I'm gonna do now is start monitor mode but before I do that actually, notice IWconfig, mode is managed at the moment, but what I'm gonna do is change the mode to monitor mode. So you can see that monitor mode has now been enabled. I'll clear the screen here. We could see that and confirm that by using IWconfig. Notice mode is now monitor mode. Notice the name has changed. Previously we had WLAN zero, now we have WLAN zero mon. You could also use AirmonNG to verify that. Notice interface name has changed. And here is where it becomes important. So let's test injection mode by using sudo air replay ng test WLAN zero mon. Make sure that you use the right interface. And as you can see, injection is working. It's detected six access points and it's trying to do a directed probe to those access points. This is an access point here. It's actually this Wi-Fi router right behind me. As always, don't hack any network that you don't have permission to attack or that you own. Do things ethically. But there you go. I've now proven that this Wi-Fi adapter supports monitor mode and injection mode. Let's try it with this TP-Link Wi-Fi adapter. So again, I'll plug that in. I'm gonna connect that to Linux. I'll clear the screen here, IWConfig. 
You can see the interface name is WLAN zero. Mode is auto in this example. This is the nickname of the Wi-Fi adapter. So let's use the command lsusb to see details of the Wi-Fi adapter. You can see it's a TP-Link Wi-Fi adapter, TLWN722N version two, version three. That's a problem because it doesn't support packet injection and monitor mode, which I'll demonstrate right now. Notice that is the chipset on this Wi-Fi adapter. So LS USB, let's look at the device. In this example, it's two, four. So I'll look at the details of that. We can see, again, device ID is this. Vendor is TP-Link. That is the Wi-Fi adapter. This is the chipset used. It's a Realtek chipset, 802.11n is supported. Okay, so here is the true test. At the moment, we've got WLAN zero, mode is auto. I'll kill any conflicting processes. I'll start monitor mode on this Wi-Fi adapter. So IW config, notice the mode is still auto, so that is a problem. And I'll use MONNG to try and verify that. So I'll type sudo MONNG. Notice we're not getting a monitor interface. It's still WLAN zero. So let's test injection, which will probably fail. And notice failed. Okay, let's use the right interface number. Should be WLAN zero, not WLAN zero mon. Notice operation not permitted. Error setting monitor mode on WLAN zero. So I'm not able to do it. I can use a script like Wi-Fi to try and verify this. Notice, cannot find any interfaces in monitor mode. Script breaks, it doesn't work. So there's an example of a network adapter breaking or not allowing us to hack. Let's use this alpha network adapter. This one supports both 2.4 as well as five gigahertz. I'll connect it to Linux. LS USB will show me details about it. Notice what it supports. A, B, G, N, and A, C. We can see the chipset within the adapter. LS USB, let's look at details. Two, five. Scrolling up. Even though this is an alpha network adapter, the device ID is showing up as real tech showing us details of the chipset used as well as the Wi-Fi network supported. So let's test this, and I can simply test this by using Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi will put the Wi-Fi adapter into monitor mode, so that got enabled, and then it will show me various Wi-Fi networks. So that's a simple way to test things. So I'll stop that, but if you really wanna test it, you could do the commands manually. So type sudo m on ng kill check to kill any conflicting processes. I'll put it into monitor mode. Monitor mode already enabled, so that's good. And let's test packet injection. And in this example, rather than using WLAN zero mon, it's just WLAN zero, and we can see that injection is working. Seven access points have been discovered, and now it's sending probes to the various networks. But there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal. I want to wish you all the very best.